In this video, I'm going to take you through how to paste data into Excel file from text files. Oftentimes, we are asked to copy large data set from text files such as .txt, .docx, .pdf and paste it in Microsoft Excel. When we use simple Ctrl C and Ctrl V commands, the entire data set ends up in one column and at times in one cell i.e. several columns of data is condensed into a single column making it impossible to calculate or play around with the data in Excel thereby making it totally incomprehensible. If we are not aware of text to columns command we could end up spending an entire day trying to put each record in separate columns. This could be very time consuming and frustrating. Text to columns command helps you solve this problem. You can use the text to columns command on the data menu to put each record in a separate column. The text to column command basically allows you to break text in one column into several columns. For example, if you have last name, first name in a column, you can break the text into two columns, one containing last name and the other containing first name. So let's see how we can do that. Select the entire data set. Go to the menu bar, click on data, click on text to columns command. A window will pop up. Ensure that the delimited option is selected. Click on next. Under delimiters, ensure that comma is selected. Please note that this example illustrates data with comma as the delimiter. This is only one of the several delimiters that you may see in your data. For example, if you have names in a column of data consisting of first and last name in a single cell separated by a space, the space character can be used as a delimiter to separate the first and last names into adjacent cells instead of the same cell. Click on Next. Under Column Data Format, there are various options, General, Text, Date. If we had Date as one of our column heads, we could have selected the Date option for that column and chosen various Date options available. However, that's not the case, so simply click on Finish. Here you go. Your data is parsed into separate columns, beginning with column A. Hope this was useful. This video was brought to you by CXO Learning Academy, a premier learning initiative by CXO Math. For any queries, you can email us at learning at cxomath.com. Thank you.